Hi, my name is Pierre and I'm an illustrator and concept artist. In my job, I'm often asked to create science fiction characters or fantasy characters. In recent years, I've added a lot more 3D into my workflow and Blender Octane Plugin has now become a very important asset in my work. Blender in itself is already a great tool because of all the add-ons, all the modeling tools that you can use. But combining it with Octane uh, only makes it even better because you'll get all the power of Octane, which is an amazing uh, render software. In this tutorial, you'll get to see how I approach character creation inside Blender. And I decided to go for uh, the creation of uh, a golem. I tried to make this uh, as concise and clear as I could. And since I explain every step I take and why I take it, I think this is a beginner friendly tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will first show you how to install Blender Octane plugin from scratch and set it to the proper parameters. Usually I do all my sculpts inside Blender, uh, but for this particular tutorial, uh, I will do my sculpt in 3D Coat. Um, if you don't know 3D Coat, I'll do a quick overview of the tools that I used for this. And if you don't want to use 3D Coat, I have attached the OBJ file of the sculpt. Uh, therefore, you'll be able to follow everything I do and uh, do the same thing if you wish to. And then we'll jump to Blender Octane and import the sculpt. Uh, I will resize and modify, uh, modify it a little and separate every limb. I will show you uh, how to parent every limb to one another in order to be able to pose it afterwards. Uh, we'll play a bit with the environment and I'll show you how you can add an HDRI and we will start texturing the golem. I'll show you a nice way to mix two textures together and give this creature a more complex look. I'll then show you how to add a head from a Mixamo character uh, or really any FBX object that you have. It can be an animated object, by the way. And uh, I will show you uh, how you can convert its embedded texture just by the click of a button. And I will isolate the head and modify uh, its textures to fit my needs. Since I parented all the body parts, I will then pose it and choose a camera shot. And when this is done, uh, I'll show you how you can add ivy on top of the whole creature uh, and how to quickly texture that ivy using the Octane Live DB. We'll then add more details using the Sapli 3Gen add-on, which is part of Blender, to create more interest and details. I will add lights to the scene to give it a more dramatic look. And then I will decide on a shot and I will show you uh, which render passes you uh, really need to render uh, for later use in Photoshop. And then I'll press F12 and get a render. So I hope you'll like this and let's jump in.